Good day, good people. My name is Kapa Sekwele and I'm an online math tutor here to help young children turn their struggles into their successes. Today's video is going to be all about helping your child who is behind in math. If you're a parent with a child that has this problem, you've probably noticed that your child cannot do the basic things in math that their peers seem to be doing very well in. If that is the case with you, please keep watching because I help children who are behind in math and I'm going to be showing you exactly how I do it. Now, generally, if a child is behind in math, likely their issues did not begin recently. Now, even though it may not have been obvious, chances are your child has been struggling for quite a few years in math. And then out of the blue, their grades take a knock or they seem to struggle with doing the things that their peers can do in class. The reason for this is because math is a cumulative subject. In other words, each year builds off of the previous year. If there is a key concept that your child does not understand from the previous grade, they cannot move on to the next grade without struggling because that key concept is going to be carried off into the next grade and the next one and the next one. And what's worse is that it's going to get even more complex. Now, a very common error that many teachers and parents make when trying to get a child up to their grade level is by reteaching what they've learned in that year. They would try to explain that year's work in different ways, or they would try to give the child more homework with the hopes that that will get them up to speed. But what the child really needs is to go back to the math done in previous grades and to improve their understanding of the theory done in previous grades. In other words, they need to catch up on the principles and the concepts that they somehow missed in previous grades and then build themselves up from there. So now you may be wondering how to know where to start. How far back does your child need to go? I'm gonna be showing you how you can know. What you're seeing on the screen is a little guide that I created that you could use to help you figure out which concept your child needs to focus on in order to catch up. Keep in mind, this guide only has a few areas that children struggle with, not all of them. So if your child has fallen behind in an area that I did not mention in the guide, please feel free to comment it down below and I will try my best to reply with the basic concept that your child may need to go back on in order to catch up. So based on this guide, if your child is in early primary school or what is also called elementary school, your child should be learning the basic theory of math. They should be focusing on understanding that theory. So if your child is falling behind at this point, chances are they've copied and memorized methods that their teacher has taught them in class, but they never really took time to understand and the theory behind those methods and the principles behind those methods that they've learned. So to catch up, your child needs to go back and focus on that basic math theory. One example of basic theory that they need to understand is an area in math called number sense. Number sense helps young children understand what a number is and helps them to understand what is meant by the value of a number. You could think of number sense as math common sense. Just being able to understand what numbers are and how they work and being able to mentally maneuver numbers correctly in their minds. Number sense is the backbone behind adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing. So if your child does not have good number sense, they cannot do well in these four areas. If your child is falling behind on these four areas, also called the four operations, despite all of your efforts of trying to show them different ways of adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing that may mean that they do not have math common sense and they don't have good number sense so they need to go back and improve on their number sense improve on their understanding of numbers and how numbers work once you have that foundation in place then you can go back to showing them how to add and showing them how to subtract and multiply and divide and whatever else but it really all starts with that foundation that number sense this then leads us into middle school math Again, remember math is a cumulative subject. So addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division now becomes the backbone upon which most of their middle school math will be built on. So the topics that children spend a lot of time on in middle school math is algebra. So if your child is falling behind in middle school math, they need to go back and understand what they were learning back in elementary school. The work they were learning back in elementary school is the backbone of the work that they're doing now. More especially multiplication and division. These two areas really become big pillars in middle school math. For example, multiplication becomes the backbone of topics such as square numbers and exponents. So if your child has fallen behind on exponents and square numbers, they need to do a better study of multiplication. They need to work on understanding multiplication. Division is the backbone of topics such as fractions, decimals, ratios. So if your child has fallen behind on those topics, they need to do a deeper study of division. Your child does need to go back in order to catch up. The next phase of math learning is high school math. Again, the backbone of their math topics in high school math is what they were learning back in middle school math. Thus, high school will be building off of what they were learning in middle school math. Now, if your child is behind in high school math, 
let's say they have issues with algebra as a whole. They need to go back and study the topics upon which high school algebra is built off of. Again, a reminder, this guide does not cover all of the topics, but it can help majority of parents figure out where to start when it comes to catching up. You can download this guide for free using the link that I've left down in the description. Overall, the point is, once your child has improved on their understanding of the basic theory of math, they then have the foundation to move on to more advanced work. Only then can your child start working on the math they should be doing in that grade. Thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of this video. I really hope it helped. If you are interested in finding an online math tutor for your child, my name is Gabo Sequele and I'm an online math tutor. So please go ahead and schedule a free consultation with me on my website. Thanks again and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.